Hello! Today I will show you how to make your own potato vodka. We will need 20 pounds of potatoes, 5 pounds of barley malt, the alpha amylase enzyme and yeast. The best are these dedicated to grain or potato mash. I invite you to the video. The first thing to do is truly wash and rinse our potatoes. When buying, pay attention to the potato variety, because each of them has a different level of starch. Choose those with as much content as possible to increase the mash performance. The starch content in potatoes is between 13 and 20%. In the next step, it will be starch that we will use to convert with enzymes into easy fermentable sugar for yeast. Once 20 pounds of potatoes are washed, put them in the pot and pour 3 quarts of water. We turn on the burner and wait for the water to boil. When the water in the pot reaches the boiling point, screw on the burner and then it gently boils. Depending on the potato variety, we steam it for 1 to 1 and a half hours. We check the water level from time to time and refill if necessary. After an hour and a half, the potato should look like on the movie. When the potatoes are steamed, crush them into a pulp. Then gradually add 13 quarts of boiled water and mix until the liquid mass is obtained. Finally, we can use a blender to liquefy the entire contents of the pot. After blending, the potato mass should look like on the movie. Now set the pot on the stove and bring to a boil. Then reduce the heating and cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of cooking, mix the alpha amylase with water and add to the pot. Then mix everything thoroughly. For the next hour and a half, we keep the temperature in the pot between 194 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit. Several minutes after adding the liquify enzyme, we can see that the density of the potato mass has clearly decreased. Everything is now more fluid. After one and a half hour, turn off the heat and leave to cool down to a temperature of 152 degrees Fahrenheit. During this time, we grind barley malt. If you do not have a grinder, you can buy malt already grinded on the internet. We need 5 pounds of malt. Instead of barley malt, we can use the beta amylase enzyme. However, the advantage of using barley malt is that it contains enzymes and additionally increases the mash efficiency, because it has in its starch that we also exchange for sugars. When the temperature reaches 152 degrees Fahrenheit, gradually pour barley malt and mix all the time so that it does not clump. We also pour 2 quarts of water into the pot at the temperature of 152 degrees Fahrenheit. After thorough mixing, 
We keep the temperature from 140 to 150 degrees for an hour and a half or until a negative iodine test is obtained. This test looks like we add a few drops of iodine to a small portion of the mash and check if it changed the color. If iodine remains orange, it means that all the starch in the mash has already turned into a sugar, but if it turns purple, it means that our starch is still unprocessed. After one and a half hour, we check the sugar level in the mash. Because the resulting mass is very thick, we filter a small sample through a cotton kitchen cloth. We always measure the sugar level on a sample at 68 degree Fahrenheit, otherwise the results will be distorted. As we can see, the sugar level in our mash is 1.074. Now pour the entire contents of the pot into the fermenter and cool to room temperature so that we can add the yeast. We do it according to the manufacturer's instruction. In my case, I put the yeast over the surface to mash at room temperature and after 20 minutes I mix everything thoroughly. When yeast converts all sugar to alcohol, we can proceed to distillation. In the next video, I will show you how to filter such thick mesh so that nothing burns during distillation. After distilling, I will also complete the description and you will be able to find there how much alcohol I could get from this mesh. If you like the movie, leave the thumbs up and leave the comment. I also invite you to subscribe the channel. See ya! Thank you.